Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this is family, family, family. Be clear. The Williams way. Crown with the Williams, shine with the Williams. The Williams way. Say crown with the Williams, shine with the Williams. All right, happy blessed Sunday. So we got up early this morning and I decided I wanted to get um, plant stands for the herb garden I have off the deck. And I had seen some nice ones. They were rectangular. I was gonna get two to lift the, um, the herb garden off of the ground. So I would have put one going that way and one going this way. Lowe's claimed they had it, but of course they did not. Well, we got there like early. Um, so I'll probably order it because I really want to do that. And I went there first, got some deck lights, which my husband will put on a little bit. I only got four, so I figure I'll just put them around like one, two that way and then maybe two at that end because in the night it gets really dark and you don't always want to put the lights on in the gazebo then i went to big lots and i found those two nice um potted plants i was like oh you should only have um real plants but then i've been looking and watching stuff all weekend about renovations as if I needed to because we've done so much already for the summer but then I saw people were putting like just like artificial plants along with the potted plants especially like on their table and stuff so I went and I got myself two I was deciding what should I do what should I do anyway I got those two and I think it looks really nice oh I think that's better so I think they look really nice on either side of the pineapple so that's what I bought uh, let me zip it up no bugs um my gladiolas are finally coming up in the pots these were the old pots we used to have on the deck and they are coming up some weeds are coming up too and these used to be on the deck until I found these ones that have the actual cut out so it just fits just go boop nice so we have all the projects to do not too many still haven't stained the deck yet you need to be 80 degrees and above my husband said so it will stain and dry nicely and if that's not gonna happen then we don't need to do it this is the plan I'm gonna be planting I thought I was done planting but this was a beautiful plant that my beautiful sister got me for Mother's Day. I think it's a dahlia. Dahlia. D-A-H-L-I-A, -I, I believe. And it can be planted outside. So I'm going to go ahead and plant this. As you can see, there's no flowers. But I think it, the, the blooming has passed for now. Might come back in the summer. i got to research it. But I'm going to plant it outside because it is an indoor-outdoor plant. And petunias are finally coming up. Yay! Look at that. I bought two lights to go into these two pots. This one. Because like I said, it gets kind of dark up on the deck. So I like a lot of these whimsical things. I have the um, birds in the pots up here. These used to be on the, the pergola down below. And so what I did was buy two more to go into these two pots to give it some light up here along with the deck lights that I bought. I'm going to show you that. Oops. Passing through. Yeah. 
These were not the original ones we were gonna get, but I think they will do just fine. Got them at Lowe's and they're not too big. I bought um, two packs, it's a pack of four. I mean a pack of two, so I bought two packs to make four. And I'm probably gonna need two more. So these are the lights. These, these are far less than what I originally spent at Lowe's, but I saw them the other day in Big Lots when we stopped off, and I think they'll work just fine up there. Those ones on the top have lights that go down the whole middle of it. But this, this will be fine, because I bought one the other day um a sunflower and it lit it lit up nicely so this is the pot i'm going to use to plant the to plant the dahlia hope i'm saying it right um i found this in the house and apparently my mother had bought this i don't know how long she bought that and she had the the pot protector and everything for it so the little tray you know for when you wet the plants and stuff and I went to the store to look for a red pot I would like to put that in the pot a red pot but there was none and then I'm cleaning up the house you know we've been cleaning and cleaning I cleaned up the dining room and the living room and I found this pot in the bag and everything never been used and I was like mom you knew that I you knew, you knew what I was thinking. Cause I wanted, I went to the store earlier that day looking for a red pot. So that's mom still, still helping, still looking out. Um, what else am I doing today? Let me see, I bought these also at Big Lots. These little containers. I don't know if I was gonna spray it teal only because I know everything in the backyard is red. But then I'm looking at my pineapple pillow and I love that teal that's coming through. So I bought a spray paint to paint these little pots to put on this table to break up the red. I think that would be nice. Put the candle in that too. I did buy the candles at Walmart. The ones I had originally bought and have been buying at the dollar store guys or nothing compared to these they light up i was so happy and they're on the timer so i already put um the ones into my lanterns and that side over here and then i also put one a taller one into this hanging basket and so I had to go back the next day and buy two more. One for this will go in here. And I think one will go in, in this lantern. When I compared it that night to the dollar store one, it was no comparison. Like I couldn't even see it. This one is like totally orangey, yellow, and just lights up right away. And the fact that it's on the timer, I love it. So. I bought the spray paint. It's not exactly the dark teal, but I didn't want to go too, too dark. So the one that I bought was, let me see, I'm, I have stuff drying already. The one that I bought is a lighter color, but I bought it in a matte finish. And because the one in the glossy finish, which I normally buy glossy, was looking like light 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 this came out kind of light too but i but i bought it let me see chalky finish i had liked the color more than the glossy one because the glossy one was kind of looking like this but now that i sprayed it this looks like it but i guess because it's um chalky i think it'll be all, be all right and I put a candle in that too. This was a pot I just went in the house. I'm trying to find something similar to that red one. And it's a pot and I may not put a flower. I think I'll just put the candle in it. And then this is a little flower pot. The plant is in it, but I covered it so that it wouldn't 
you know, get messed up. And I'm going to put those two accents on that little table too. Just to break up the red a little bit. I think it'll be fine. So in our previous home, years ago, we used to have a lot of fruit trees, peach, apple, I believe, cherries, all kind of things. And my parents a couple years ago planted some of these trees to the back of the house. But for some reason, I think they just give tiny, tiny fruit. Like they're little, like they have never gotten any bigger than this size okay but don't get don't take them off when they're totally green like let them have a little red redness to them oh. so there's two of them I think one's like a nectarine cause yeah and one's the peach cause that's the one that has the fuzzy the fuzzy um texture so my husband picked a whole handful, but they're tiny, they're hard right now. I've never seen them get bigger. So I'm assuming that they're just like mini trees. I can't find fuzzy ones. All right, daddy has a whole set in his hand. So what tree is that over there? I think that's supposed to be cherry. This is the one where, this is the one I think where the birds were taking over like two years ago and then he went to the store they said spray it and then they said put a netting on it and then they still got through i think this is supposed to be the cherry but so far we don't see anything happening we're gonna try to eat dinner in the while the sun is still out today and um now he know i am not going in this water <laughs> Well, I'm ashamed to say I don't go in the pool unless the water feels like a sauna. Now I know you have a sauna for the purpose of having nice warm water, but for some reason I think the pool should be hot enough to be like a sauna. So I will come in when the water is warmer than this. That means some maybe some 90 something degree weather. A couple of days, heat this thing up, heat this bad boy up real good. And then Sister Sharon. Sister Sharon Mommy, is going to take a dip. Guys, every day I said, when we used to go in the summer, I said, oh, they're like, oh, this is so cool. Me too, in the beginning. Yeah, but you're but kidding. I, you just I, jump right in. You're brave. I always, I, I'm scared when I go in. I'm scared I'm going to drown. Well, that's why it's your year to learn how to swim. No. No, well, you need to. But, and I always say, like, oh, it's so cold, it's so cold. I do it in the beginning. Like, I always like, say, oh, it's so cold. And everyone there in the middle. Of like, right now, water. the water's chilly. And then the wind is starting to blow, too. So, you know, you're going to be freezing. One time I came in here years ago, oh my gosh, it was cold. And I, you know, after a while you get in there, you start to warm up to the water. That's but like, what I said. But, like, I never warmed up to the water. And then I was just like, no, yeah, I gotta that, go. Everybody says it's so cold. It's so cold. And, I, and all, all I say is, once you get in it for a while, it starts to get warm. And it's like, Well, bad. guess what? Oops. I'm breaking something over here. <laughs> it was kind of so. already broken. Yeah, well, add that to the fix-it list. Okay, so um, 
As you can tell, I'm not going in the water. The so I'm going to go I'm in. Saying. All right, go on, child. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go in and warm up this food. Last night, those fajitas. And um, go under this gazebo and um, have a nice meal. Yes, while the sun is out. Because when we go in, when it's too late, we like to put the lights on and everything. But somebody over here who shall remain nameless and their older sister be screaming for the bug. Bugs, 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 bugs. Because when we put the light on, of course, the bugs come. So, we're going to try to eat now. Yesterday, me and hubby ate over here. So, that was nice. Okay. Why am I back at Lowe's? Why? I can't. They canceled my order for my two plant stands. I'm so mad. But I found one on Walmart. For less. But look at this. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just not gonna do it, guys. But it fits my color scheme now that I added that touch of aqua, turquoise, aqua, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna be strong. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away, guys. Ooh, but look at the rug. actually supposed to be looking for a plant to replace one on the side that died out but I think it died out because it was a spring bloom so what I was going to do was cut it back and then put an annual plant on top so that next year I'll come back when that dies down look at this giant pineapple that goes in my feet oh my god I can't do it I'm going to walk away guys and like, this is all, that's my little rabbit. The frog is not back yet. All right, so you sticking with these, Rick? He's back at it, y'all. He was done. These are my options to replace that plant on the side. Um, $8? $14. I used to plant hibiscus every year, up to last year, every year on the front porch when I did the daisies this time, because we were out on COVID from work, and we started everything so early in April, and of course this was not out yet, but I always love hibiscus, so that might be an option to replace that plant on the side. What do you think? 14 Eight. And I always plant this one too, guys, on the back step of the step out of pergola. I always plant these in those two pots, but I planted geraniums in those this year. So, either one I like. This one will take up more room if I put the hole in, um, try to put it in the same hole with the other plant. So, I'll see. And these are the Pavers. My husband wants to mix these in under the pergola with the red just to give it a different look. Spruce it up a little more, update it. So, all right. All right, so we siliconing pergola roof I don't know if y'all can see it but we have carpenter bees that decided they want to put holes in the pergola so one bee he trying to crawl for his life I guess he dying he got hit with the bug with the wasp spray so he's on there I don't know if so you can see him so why are you siliconing the so we silicone in the burglar so because of the rain. When the rain falls, you want to seal. You want to seal all the spots. So no water can get through the roof. So I didn't think it was a bee in this one, so but I silicone the hole. I'm gonna show you the hole. 
And there was a bee, I guess decided to come out and got stuck in the silicone. And there he rests. May he rest in peace. There he is, stuck, dead, on arrival. Oh my God. So, sorry for killing nature, but uh, you're not welcome in my wood. Out. to the dollar store to get some batteries for those candles for the lanterns and um, they had no no batteries so but you know you can't go into the dollar store and not pick up something so I saw these I think these are cute I picked up two of that and then I was gonna pick up I was gonna pick up some of those um, candles, like what I have for the lanterns, but then I said maybe I'll just go with the real ones in in these lanterns. I don't think they have a smell. Oh yeah, they smell fresh linen. So it wasn't about the smell, but to me the the fake ones. I don't know if it was gonna fit in here because it looks wider on the top of the glass, but smaller on the inside. So I went with the real. Deal. And there's my batteries, but I was sort of having have to circle around and go to CVS. Was not happy. You have to spend nearly ten dollars on this, and it's not even um, name brand. It's No Frills CVS uh, brand. Hopefully, it will still do the job for ten dollars, which I could have got three packs for three dollars, and I would have been just fine. While I was in there, though, I found this. You know, we were all into the hair thing. Nicole said it's to massage your scalp. I'm taking her word for it. I looked up here and did not see anything about hair. But she says she's seen it before. It says actually bath and shower. So I'm going to try it. To, to massage the scalp. Look Lonnie, to massage the scalp. <gasps> we'll try it and see if it's going to work. I don't know. And then I had the problem with the cuticles since I took the nails. Well, actually they were my own nails, but cut everything off and took the um, gel. I used to do gel every two weeks and my nails are taking it really hard and my cuticles even worse. Plus a lot of dishes, washing a lot of dishes and all that cleaning we were doing. Hands constantly in the water. So my cuticle, I bought a cuticle repair I should use it every day, sometimes I forget, but then this cuticle remover, Nicole's my go-to person. She said, um, this works, so dollar store. So I'm going to go check the stuff that I did earlier and see if it dried. How you got the umbrella open. Um, he sealed everything on the top, put the wood on it to hold it in place. That seal is looking mighty good. So hopefully we won't have any more leaks. I just planted the um, plant that my sister gave me. And I had it on the ground and I went back and I switched out a pot and I put it on the stand. So my mom had all these stands when she used to have a lot of plants in the house. She still has a lot of plants in the house, but um, this is one of her stands. So I just put it on there. I think it looks nice above the other plant than on the ground. So, oh, okay. It looks dry and I think I better move them because I see bugs already trying to get on top. Now this one is the chalk, chalk finish. I like it. 
And there's my red glossy. I like it. All right, I'm gonna get these going and then put them where they're gonna go. Okay, this is how it turned out. Took the, the blue turquoise, I forgot what color they called it. And I uh, painted it on the pot. That was in my house, in the hallway. And the flower pot I bought today. Just to break it up a little bit, the red, and to match the teal color on the pillows. And I put the candles in all three. The better candles from, um, with the timer from Walmart are those. And the dollar store one is that. I had no choice. I'm not going back to Walmart to make two trips. So I have to use that for now. And, oh, when I went back, my husband put the lights on the deck, the solar lights, and I went back and I tried to look for that frog I was telling you about to go in my garden, and it was sold out, so I ended up getting Farmer Bunny. Farmer Bunny. So I'm going to put him in the garden. I put the two candles in the candle holders from dollar store and the two flower pots that I painted red are on the table with the big plants. I took out the old bunny. I tried to spray paint the mushroom top and I got red on the face but I think I'm gonna maybe I'll try to restore it because it is cute but let's go look at the new bunny. Farmer Bunny, welcome to the Williams household. I think he looks very good. Very, very good. I was putting him in there and then I saw some weeds and stuff and I got to weeding and pruning. I like him. Hi, Farmer Bunny. That's the view from this way. The pots, the flower pots look nice on the table. That red, nothing like that red. Looks good. I like it. So when it's all lit up at night, we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Woohoo! So this is the plant stand from Walmart and uh, I think that color that they said was supposed to be black, that don't look black, right honey? What that look like? Gunmetal? Gray? Y'all know I love to spray paint, but I kind of <laughs> almost ran out of black, so I'm going to leave it and then next year I will probably gray painted black uh, I think that's what I do I'm just happy to get it now cuz I told you y'all know my Lowe's dilemma canceled my plant stands took the money and then canceled it and then I had to contact them to refund the money it was two plant stands single ones but this one is just like a they said it's like a baker's rack if you ever had a baker's rack in your kitchen it's that type of um plant stand and i'll be happy to get it because i'll get my herbs where else my herbs off the ground because my basil is getting all chewed up and i think it's the slugs look at that This is the second or third basil I put in here. This one is like almost chewed. Look at that leaf. That's ridiculous. Then I'm messing with the thyme in the back. Then I'm messing with the sage. That's rosemary, parsley, and oregano. But they 
sure like the taste of this basil. So my husband looked up some information online and he said to put eggshells. So that's what those little white things are. Or coffee grinds. I might add that next. But I am happy to have this plant stand. Thank you.